Good morning. This is Joe H. Warren. Today we're up in Ober Olso and we're going to visit Camp King uh, or what used to be Camp King. Some of these stores may look the same, but I think almost everything else is different. This is where the U3 comes. Going up into the Taunus Mountains, which you can see in front of us, to the last stop on the U3, which is Hoamark. So this used to be way outside of Frankfurt. And I hope this is interesting for those of you who used to maybe uh, be posted here at the military base or who used to live here. So you can see that this is military housing right here. There's not a lot of military housing here anymore. Most of it was taken down, torn down. I don't know if I can get across the street here. I think this ice cafe and this florist shop has always been here. I'm gonna cross the street here real quick. So you used to be able to go down this street here. This is Eich Walchenweg. And there was an entry into um, this post. This is a closed post. So it was right down the street here. If that looks familiar to anyone. We're gonna go on up here and go in where the main entrance to Camp King used to be. So everything across the street here is all brand new. They've taken this military housing and made it nice. And this has turned into a completely um, residential area with tons of apartments, stores, cafes. They have left some of the historic buildings here. Let's we'll see if we can see those. Hopefully it's not too far of a walk. So Camp King does have a very interesting history. It began as an agricultural farming area for the University of Frankfurt. And they had rabbits and pigs and sheep up here. And they had like a agriculture exhibits. And then 1933 came, the Nazis took over and they were still using it for agriculture. But once the war started, they used this as a POW camp. So this used to be the main entrance to Camp King. And they've actually got it marked. Camp King Allee. Put this over here. This all used to be housing. I don't know how much of it is still housing that they just improved or if they tore it down and rebuilt. I didn't come up here for a really long time. But heading into Camp King, there was housing on both sides. And then you got to this little area that had the, gymna the gymnasium the little tiny PX, the tiny bookstore, the tiny hair salon and barber shop, uh, the tiny commissary, <laughs> and then the bowling alley that has snack bar, four lanes, and slot machines. And behind that was the club that had more snack uh, slot machines. So this is Elvis Presley vague. I don't know if the church is still here. So the church used to be over behind where the kindergarten is here now, the daycare.
Yeah, I think these are new buildings. This just doesn't look like old military housing that's been converted. Everything else over here is all brand new. This is George C. Marshall ring. So that looks like housing back there to the left of us here. So the Nazis use this as a POW camp until the war was over. This would have been the end of March, 1945. Um, the Americans took over Frankfurt, they took over Old Russell. Everything was done. And then the Americans used this as a POW camp, but more for interrogation. This was a, they brought people here that they thought were spies and for denazification. And they used it for that for quite a long time. I believe until hmm, maybe the late 1950s or 60s. And then they turned this into um, military with an army post. I think they were in charge of transportation up here logistics so if you lived here I know this looks really really different the first time I came up here after they built all this I just was wow it just was amazing so back over there was the church so that might still be the church over here But everything else is new, but that, yeah, it looks kind of new also. So the church was also the LRC, the Learning Resource Center. Now some of the buildings up here, they've had to keep because they're historic buildings, because they're quite old. I think built in the 1930s. So that makes them almost a hundred years old now. I know the daycare that was up here had a painted ceiling. It was probably the only military daycare with a wooden ceiling. And that's because it was all painted. They had to keep it. So some of this up here might look a little bit more familiar to those of you who lived here. Robert Kempner ring. I know this building over here on the left was here. So I was here from 1986 until 1990, early spring. I worked at the uh, snack bar in, <laughs> in the bowling alley. What street is this? This is also Robert Kempner ring. If anybody knows what this building used to be, please tell me. So all these little half timbered buildings going up through here were all, uh, they're all historic and they have to keep them. And that's the Thomas Mountain Lodge over here. That was something that they also had to keep. And they restored it. They wanted to do things with it, make it a hotel. And this Thomas Mountain Lodge was fabulous looking. The Americans had a nice club inside, nice bar. For elegant evenings for all the officers that lived up here and they just didn't know what to do with that and it sat empty for a long time and then finally they did restore it and now they've made apartments inside I will post a link so you can see what these apartments look like but I think it'd be fun to see what these little buildings look like inside too. 
these were all different offices. If you see one of the buildings that, where you worked, can you let me know? But they've mixed some new buildings with the old buildings. But gosh, what a nice neighborhood. I would live up here. You have the Thomas Mountains right around your door. Go hiking, biking. It's an easy ride into Frankfurt. You can take the U3 all the way into Frankfurt to the Hauptbacke and Südbahnhof. Or you can take the U3 from here down and catch the S-Bahn. The Oberosel Bahnhof. So I believe one of these buildings back here used to be the daycare. I'm not sure which one. It's been too many years. I hope someone helps me out. This is Jean Zauerweg. Was it this building? Heimisch Kapusweg. I know somebody that used to work here at the daycare, so I hope that she will come on and watch this video and tell me which building was the, was the daycare. It could be this one. This is a pretty large building. We're kind of coming up here on the back of the t Mountain Taunus Lodge. The Taunus Mountain Lodge, sorry. It's a beautiful sunny day in Oberosel. Another cute house. I think you need some money to live up here. As you can see they've done a lot of work on this building to restore it. So we've got a little plaque here. Let's get over here. The car's in the way. Shoot. Get in there. Can you read the plaque? Okay. I'll put some links on here in the description. We're just gonna come around. There was officers housing farther up on the hill, I believe. Back in there. And I believe that's all gone now. This is Edith Steinweg. So Edith Stein was a German Jew who converted to Judaism, or she converted to Catholicism and became a nun. So she's quite famous. I believe she was killed in the Holocaust for being Jewish, even though she was a nun. And we're going to end here because oh, this is the end. As far as Camp King is concerned, we've walked all the way around and we got this beautiful 
Taunus Mountain Lodge here. The Taunus Mountains around, the sun is shining. And thank you so much for being on my tour today. And I appreciate all you people that have subscribed and everybody who has shared my videos. Thanks for joining me, bye. I'm adding this on to the end of the film because I found this a little bit farther on down. Could this be the daycare, the t kindergarten? It's right down from the Taunus Mountain Lodge. Um, yeah, help me out folks.